Hi there, it's Nicole for Simon Says Stamp, and today I have got this kind of dreamy style card that reads Love You to the Moon and Back, and I'm pairing the Shine On Stamps and Dies with the All My Love Greeting stamp set, as well as the Wonky Rectangles. These are going to make the great frame that's the basis for the card, and from the outside frame, I'm gonna hang the stars from the Shine On stamp set. I've stamped, or rather die cut these rectangles from some Bristol Smooth cardstock, and I'm taping them together on the back temporarily with a little bit of post-it tape. And I'm gonna start by stamping greetings from the All My Love stamp set on the center rectangle using Versamark ink and heat embossing this with white embossing powder. And I just kind of want to center it along the bottom edge there. I love the wonky stitching. It adds immediate interest to these rectangles where this is a really simple design. Little touches like that dress up the background a bunch. Once I have my greetings stamped with Versamark, I'll sprinkle on a little white embossing powder just going to grab that and sprinkle that on. And that is looking good. Before I heat set it, I want to add some stars. And I'm going to take a couple of the solid star images from the Shine On stamp set and stamp those kind of around the big scripty love word. Just by changing the colors of this card, it would make it great for maybe a boy instead. I think these would be kind of fun little boy, little girl, new baby type of cards. Simply stamp a bunch of them and ink them up in different color combinations, different color combinations to make it for a boy or a girl. There are my stars. I've got five of them there. And I'll go ahead and heat set this with my heat tool. I want to make sure all the embossing powder gets really good and melted. Once I have that, I can do embossed resist with the distress inks. And I'll be using spun sugar, picked raspberry, and dried marigold distress inks for my background. You could also wait and do all of the inking and the distress sprayer and all of that. Make sure the background's really good and dry. And you could stamp and emboss the sentiments on top of that with white, uh, white embossing powder if you wanted to. I generally like to do it first and then do the embossed resist. I started with spun sugar along the bottom, moved to picked raspberry, and I'm finishing with dried marigold. And I want to blend these colors really good one into another. I'm using a scrap piece of paper to keep my fingers out of the ink so I don't get any ink splotches. Get a nice good blend and then I'm going to spritz this with water from the Distress Sprayer to give some nice distressing to the background. And I held the sprayer really high up um, instead of getting really close. I did buff off any ink that might be sitting on top of the embossing before I do this. I wanted big splotches and I wanted it to be minimal. I didn't want to oversaturate it and have too many white spots. And then I'm just gonna blot that dry and let that completely dry while I work on the rest of the design. So that scrap piece of paper I was using to keep my fingers out of the ink, that is some Bristol uh, cardstock left over from die cutting my frames. I'm gonna use this to create the rest of my elements. So I'm going to stamp the half moon with the cute face in it, the little man in the moon. I image. I love that. And then the hanging moon and stars. I ended up not using another moon. I decided I didn't like that. I'm just going to repeat the hanging star images a couple times and stamp these with a black ink. That will work with the Zig Clean Color Real Brush markers. 
I love how these markers look on the Bristol Smooth cardstock. They blend beautifully and they go on so smooth. And there's not a ton of coloring really here. This is just a little touch of color to add some interest to the designs and that's it. Then I'll die cut these images and add them to the card. So I'll go ahead and stamp the rest of these multiple times. Ink those up with black ink again. I want enough to go across the top of the card. So I'm cleaning them and then moving them across. And I ended up stamping and coloring more than what I really needed for the design. But I always like to make sure I have plenty. I might be using all of these. I thought maybe I stamped more than what I needed, but I think I end up using everything but the moon. Next, I've got several shades of pink markers. I've got the sugared almond pink, light pink, and pink flamingo. Pink flamingo definitely has a peachy touch to it. And then I'm just laying down a tiny bit of color and blending those out with a water brush pen. This has got a little bit of water in it. If you want to control the water even more, you could just dip the tip of your brush in some water or use a small paintbrush dipped in water. But I want it to be a kind of watered down look, something really soft and sweet that matches the background. and the colors to match the Distress Ink colors as well. I'm gonna use a little haze blue on the moon, some pink for the cheek, a little yellow there, and a darker blue for the eye. That's the light blue. The haze blue is the color around the edges of the design, and that's just to soften it and give it a tiny bit of color. It's not to really color in the moon blue. Just want him to have a little touch of color and shading. And then I'll die cut all of these images with the coordinating shine on dies. On the back of my frames, I was originally, I put a little adhesive along the top edge and I was gonna tuck all of my stars underneath and kind of have that adhesive hold them in place and it just did not work very well. So, so what I'll end up doing is I'm gonna flip this over and I want this whole panel to be slightly raised with foam adhesive. So I will go ahead and I'm putting some glue dots on the back of my stars so that they stay put when I go ahead and put my center panel back in place. Also helps them stick a little bit better. I don't want them falling off. I'm going to replace the center there and then I'm going to hold these two pieces together with foam adhesive. This is a little trick that I've shown before. It's one of my favorites. If you're going to do a raised panel, not only does this hold the or raise the panel up and give it dimension, it holds the two pieces together without having to try to piece them together. So it serves as the adhesive as well. And I'm going to tuck my remaining stars underneath that top edge. This worked much better, by the way. I don't know why I was trying to make it so hard. Go ahead and make sure all of my little hanging stars are secure. I love these hanging stars. I could see using these for so many different things. I'm gonna add my little moon up in the upper left corner. Take a little wink of Stella clear glitter brush pen to those images. Remove the foam backing for the foam tape, add this to a white side fold card base. Here's that wink of Stella. This is gonna give them some nice sparkle. And finally, I am gonna finish with a scattering of Pretty Pink Posh Iridescent Mini Star Confetti. I love the heart and star confetti. They're a perfect finishing touch. I'm gonna use a little glossy accents on the eye for the moon, and then I'm gonna add little dots of it all over and use, I'm using the quick stick tool. You could use a jewel picker or something else and put little stars all over. It goes great with the theme of the card. It finishes it off. It gives it some nice embellishment. Plus it's, they're really sparkly. I love the iridescent look. They pick up the color that's behind them. So it would look great 
it looks great on these this pink orange combination but it would look just as fabulous on a blue green maybe color combination or blue and yellow um, whatever you wanted to do if you were going to do this for a boy I think it would look fantastic with that too it just picks up the color so beautifully and I just they kind of stick and have some static cling so they stick to the tool and then I place them right there in the adhesive Thanks for joining me today for this Love You to the Moon and Back card featuring Simon Says Stamps and Dies. The supplies I used to create this card are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos featuring Simon Says Stamps and Dies that you might be interested in. Please subscribe for weekly card making and stamping videos. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.